measuring the intermolar width for an orthodontic or orthotropic consultation. The width of the upper jaw and the palate is greatly related to the tongue space or the tongue volume. And measuring reproducibly is good for giving an estimate of the tongue volume and also of measuring any change that may have occurred. We measure this using a dial caliper that's available for most hardware stalls and measuring from the most gingival point of the molar on one side to the most gingival point of the molar on the other side. So those are the points I've marked the closest to the gum. This seems to be the most reproducible point. So using a dial caliper, I'll measure from one side to the other side. And then often, if you hold your fingers, you can make a little bit of a swing action and you can swing backwards and forwards between these two points. And as you can see, you're getting just down in there and you can measure really quite accurately. I'm impressed with the reproducibility of this method. And just there, I will say that this guy has an intermolar width of 37 point, ooh, I'll give him 37.7.